is Dr. Dennis Deer of Deer Rehabilitation Services and Mara Hauser of the Hauser Group. Welcome, good afternoon everybody. On behalf of Goldman Sachs, 10,000 Small Businesses Chicago team, I wanna say hello and thank you so much for being here. The 10,000 Small Businesses is a $25 million commitment to the Chicagoland region by the Goldman Sachs Park Foundation as part of a $500 million national program which has eight other locations, including Philadelphia, Cleveland, Salt Lake City, Houston, New York, LA, Long Beach, and New Orleans. It is a free competitive application program emphasizing world-class entrepreneurship, education, and partnership with Babson College, one-on-one -on -one business advising, and helping improve access to capital. The program has been based locally at Harold Washington College since 2011. We went three to four cohorts per year with roughly 30 scholars per cohort. We already have 150 15 graduates who collectively employ over 2,000 people and generate $120 million in revenue. Our youngest firm was founded in 2009. Our oldest firm was founded in 1931. We have worked with manufacturing, service, and specialty professional businesses. This is an opportunity for all types of businesses. We have four national partners, seven energized strategic partners locally, and many more contributing partners like Dunn and Bradstreet, which we are happy to be working with today. Today is an opportunity to hear from two of our scholars directly and see a video featuring several more so that you can learn more about the program and hopefully apply for our next cohort in the fall by the July 1st deadline. If you're interested in learning more about the program, be sure to stop by our table to talk to us and pick up more information. With that, I introduce to you our scholars, our alumni, Dennis Deer and Mara Hauser. Good afternoon. My name is Dr. Dennis Deer, and I am a, a Goldman Sachs Scholar graduate, and I'm the president of Deer Rehabilitation Services. I got a couple of questions I want to put out there to you. Do you want to take your business to the next level. Let me see some hands. All right, that's pretty good. Do you want to, want to become a better negotiator? Let me see some hands. All right, now how many people want to make some more money? Let me see some hands. All right, those are all the tools or things that we learn in the Goldman Sachs 10,000 Small Businesses Program. Now let me tell you a little bit about my business. I'm a clinical psychologist by training. I was born and raised in North Lawndale on the west side. Any west side is in here? All right, west side, west side. All right, born and raised there. And my motto is doing good in the hood, all right? We do good in the hood by providing clinical and counseling services to both law enforcement officers, ex-incarcerated men and women, as well as the average Joe that needs marriage and family counseling, that need outpatient substance abuse treatment, but we also do corporate trainings on a national level. Now, let me tell you a little bit about this program because I learned a heck of a bunch. I started out as a, a really small business in a one-room office. I now have three offices, one on Michigan Avenue, one in North Lawndale, one in the western suburbs of, of Riverside. In this program, or before this program, I spent a lot of my time trying to manage my business and my employees. What this program taught me was how to start working on, stop working in my business and start working on my business. And what does that mean? A lot of my time was managing employees. I wasn't being a visionary. I wasn't being true to my, my business plan. Heck, I didn't even have time to come to conferences like this. And how many people have had a vacation lately? Anybody? As an entrepreneur, it gets hard to take a vacation when you're working in that business. But when you start working on the business, it becomes easier and easier to do that. So I was able to take a vacation after learning some of the things that I learned in the program. As I continued out throughout this program, I learned the fact that I had to learn how to uh, measure the success of my business. And what does that mean? Every single business has to have metrics. I learned immediately we had a class on negotiations, and I was in the middle of negotiating the contract. Due to that class, I was 
able to negotiate about $75,000 into that contract. And I wouldn't have known how to do that had not they taught me that. And that's obviously what I learned in the program. As I continued on through the program, I learned that I can't make all the money. And nobody wants to hear that. The more that I free up my time, I'm able to focus on getting larger contracts. So I learned that I need to hire an operations manager to manage the day-to-day -day affairs of my business. I probably wouldn't have done that because, you know, as an entrepreneur, it's my baby, and I think nobody can do it like I can. I found out some people can do it better than I can. All right? And so I learned that through the program. The last little tidbit point I want to put out there is if you always do what you've always done, you're going to always get what you've always got. That's the definition of insanity. Doing the same thing over and over again, what? Same result. Man, y'all know about that already. Okay. Get, get, get the same results. And so what I learned in the program is I can't keep doing what I was doing, expecting to get some different results. If you want to make more money, guess what you got to do? In order to get something you never had, you're going to have to do something that you've never done. And so in this particular program, I learned to do that. I learned I need to change accounts, right? Because some stuff my account just wasn't doing and wasn't, wasn't telling me. So I changed accounts. And so in this particular program, I, I hope, th does what I'm saying to you make sense? Yeah. That you can have some success, but until you want success as much as you can breathe, you won't get it. All right? And so I, I hope that by what I'm telling you, it's encouraging you to apply for a free program and, and cue up the video. We're going to show you a video in a few minutes, and then Myra's going to come and, and talk to you a little bit about the program. But I want to encourage you. There's a free program. It's a competitive application process. But guess what? You will be glad that you took those classes. When I was going through the classes, I mean, it was just like candy. All right? Because I'm, I'm just sucking up all of this information. And I thought I knew. So I got a PhD. I thought I knew something. I ain't know nothing. Because when it comes to running business, it's a whole nother ball game. Do we have the video queued up? Oh, fan fantastic. sporting events, weddings, bar buzz. Every business started small, but people tend to forget. The Goldman Sachs 10,000 Small Businesses Program gave me some critical tools to do a better job within a company, like making sure that they understand our financials better, that your numbers are all there, practicing your financial pitch to try and get a loan. The future of my business is to be not only a local company, but a national company. I want to be able to leave a legacy, not only for my family, but also for the community and all the people around me. What excites me most about Goldman Sachs 10,000 Small Businesses Program is it brings a level of professional services to business owners and entrepreneurs that they would never probably get otherwise. Our guiding principle in this country is, is equality of opportunity. 10,000 small businesses is a big part of that. I was a former resident in Chicago Public Housing. I started my business scared, shaking, didn't know which way to go, but 15 and a half years later, here I am. We are a full service general contracting firm specializing in rehab, renovations, restorations, and retrofits. We're not just building houses. We're building homes. 
The Goldman Sachs 10,000 Small Business Programs had a tremendous impact on me. Being able to analyze and utilize financial statements. You know, the first time I spoke about a million dollar contract, I hyperventilated. Here's this little kid from the projects, and now I'm talking about millions of dollars in contracts. To be able to work with the Chicago Housing Authority, where I was a former resident, is such a fulfilling moment. It's allowed me to serve my fellow man. I never feel better about the prospects of the United States than when I hear a small business person describe their business opportunity, their commitment, and when you see that, you begin to be very, very secure that the American dream is secure for another generation.